Have you ever listened to a live broadcast on Mixler and felt so touched or you were so touched or so moved by the message or the broadcast that you want to download it so that you can listen over and over again? Well, I'm going to show you how to do just that in this video tutorial. The steps are simple. Go to mixlr.com slash covenant or whatever profile you want to download from. But I am making this for members of the Covenant Nation Ibadan. Okay, so go to mixlr.com slash covenant in your Google Chrome web browser. It's possible that other browsers may also work, but I use Google Chrome web browser and that's what I know that works. Okay, so you can just do that. You can experiment with other browsers um, later if you want. Okay, then find the recording you want to download and play it. Right click on that recording, choose inspect in the context menu, then click network. You will see all of this. So don't let me even just go through it, but this is just a summary. Okay, for you to um, um, see what it looks like. When you click network in the top area of the new window that opens, then as you continue to play that recording, by the left side of that new window, you'll find some files, including the MP3 file, okay, that you are looking for. Then you copy the link to that MP3 file into another browser window and download your file. So that's just what it looks like. Very simple and straightforward. So let's see what that looks like. So I'll go to mixlar.com slash covenant, or you can go to covenant.mixlar.com. It's the same. Okay, it will redirect as appropriate. Okay, then go to recordings. Okay, so look for the recording you want to download. Okay, um, so uh, let's say I want to download this now. So I'll open this. Okay, this is day 33 of 40. Okay, so you play it. You see, I've started playing it. Then right click. That's it now. So right click and um, see inspect here yeah, click inspect and up here you will find network if you don't find it click this double arrow until you find it because depending on now for example now let me shrink this this window might open like this for example and you find that there's no network here so just click this um, arrow here you'll find it or you can expand this window you can expand this window and if you like you can also even undock the window completely so that you can move it around if you like but i think i prefer to have it the way it is okay so the point is you right click let me go over that again so that nobody's confused but you can just follow the steps and you can go by it again you right click and pick inspect then go to network and continue playing they are playing the audio, look at this left side this left side of the new window now if nothing is showing there fast forward the audio just fast forward, you see? Now, as I fast forwarded it, can you see some files? Are some files are now showing here. So what you are looking for is this base MP3 file, base.mp3. So select that. Excuse me. Uh, click that and then copy the link in full. Copy the link here, then open another browser window and um, that's it. So you'll be able to download your audio file, then give it um, the name that you want, okay? Okay, I've actually downloaded this before. Let me delete it just to illustrate, okay? Now, so I'll call it um, the 33 or 40 day fast. So whatever file name you want to give it, you know, you can give it just in file name that lets you know what it is about, okay? And then you save. Okay, this is already exists. Well, I've deleted it, but it hasn't read that, okay? So that is, so you download it. So it's downloading now. Can you see so it's downloading now? You can edit this audio file with a um, software or you know a program like Audacity, and there are lots of other programs you can use. You can edit it to maybe make the file size file size smaller without reducing the audio quality. This is 95.8 megabytes, which is quite a bit. So you may want to reduce it. There are lots of tutorials online that um, you know can show you how to do that and uh, maybe we may consider doing stuff like this in the connect groups okay where we sit down and learn you know practical tech tips and other things that we can apply for our spiritual growth and also for um, other areas of our lives okay so um, that's about it so you have what it takes now to download messages or any recording you want to download from the mixler app okay using your web browser if you have any question you can go to bit.ly slash tcnibadoninfo you'll find almost everything you need to know about um tcnibadon there okay you also find the contacts you know you find contact options there and um, you can 
also um, speak with the information desk. I believe that they will direct you to whoever you know um, you need to speak with. And more importantly, ensure that you join a connect group by visiting bit.ly slash TCNIB connect. It's as simple as joining a WhatsApp group of the community closest to you. At the time of making this video, the connect groups are just beginning to take off, but I tell you it's it's going to be a you know fantastic and amazing experience. Okay, so you don't want to miss out on it. We're going to be supporting ourselves in a lot of very practical ways, helping one another to be doers of the word, not errors only. We just you know meet in church for a few hours every week, maximum of three hours. In fact, most of the time not up to that and then we have 168 hours you know in the week okay so beyond just hearing the word in church we need a support system that you know helps us supports us to implement what we're hearing so that we'll be doers of the word not errors only so that we're going to be good ground like senior pastor is preaching um, in his um recent series we can be good ground so that the seed of the word sown in our hearts can really grow then we help ourselves in other practical ways someone is looking for a job and someone has an opening in the organization someone you know uh, um, wants to travel out you know wants to japa and other people have done that and can guide the person through a lot of you know practical ways um, to help welfare also okay someone is in need and you know the others that have an abundance so those that are in abundance share with those in need so at the end of the day nobody has you know excess and nobody is in lack you know so all of those things are things that are going to happen and more we're also going to be having evangelism and a lot of you know fantastic um, um initiatives that will help our spiritual growth and every area of our life so you want to be sure that you don't miss out on all of that you also want to be sure that you are contributing your own part i have just um, contributed you know my own part by simply responding to a question that someone asked on the core team group okay and i know okay i've been doing this so i can record the video what i wanted to do before was just to download what he asked for and share but i felt okay why not instead of um you know um giving people fish like they say okay why not um you know teach how to fish but beyond teaching how to fish you know it's actually better to teach people to learn how to fish okay so that they can now learn any other thing also you understand but that's not what we're talking about now. but the point is um let us all take the initiative to contribute our own part to the growth of the body thank you very much and bye for now so if you don't remember anything remember to visit bit.ly slash tcnib connect and join the connect group closest to you thank you